Hey fans, welcome to another exciting, fun episode here on the Hillbilly Movie Collector. Sorry I've been not been posting up videos as much as I'd like, as I'd like to, but I've been having a little family problems. It just uh, had to dedicate more time to doing, dealing with my family problems than I've had time to do, post up videos. But, like I said, I'd like to show what some of the videos... Uh, Recently, about two weeks ago, I ordered some DVDs and stuff from a company called Hamilton Book Company. And I'd like to show the haul I got there. So, let's get to the, let's get to what we got here today. And I'll, sh I'll show you the DVDs and stuff I bought from the Hamilton Book Company. Alright, the first one off the bat we got here is Two-Headed Shark Attack. I've seen this on the Sci-Fi Channel a couple of times. So, I thought that'd be a pretty good, something cool to get, you know, two-headed shark attack. <laughs> okay, from Dust to Dawn, the series, I got season two. Southland Tales. Starring The Rock and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, hopefully I'll have a review of this pretty soon. A classic from Bruce Campbell. Running Time. Which I heard. I've heard some stories about this. So hopefully in the future I'll give a review of it. And get that back. There we go. Get that glare out. The Huntsman. The Winter War. So this will complete my Huntsman Tales up. I thought this is a classic, The Incredible Mr. Limpet starring Don Knotts. I always liked the animation for this. I thought it was a pretty good movie. The Witches of East Side, the complete first season. Never heard this show. Let me see. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. The Witches of Eastside, I've never heard of the show. It only lasted about two seasons, so I'll have to... Hopefully in the future I will have a review of this right quick. Another one add to my ever-present DC movie collection. Superman vs. The Elite. Okay. And this will complete my Iron Sky collection so I have the original Iron Sky so I have both one and two now this is a good one I've seen this on tubing they've had this up for sale showing this I think they call it it's like a different title though uh, Clash of the Empire starring Christopher Judd and Bai Lane okay now here's a long time, long ago classic, which I remember this debuted on NBC. This is part of a merit, uh, I guess back in the old days when they used to have um, miniseries. And this was Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles. Very good series. I remember watching this. It's pretty good. Okay. Nazis at the center of the earth. I thought I seen some previews of this. I thought it looked pretty good. Legendary actor Jack Busey, the son of Gary Busey, was in this. Okay. Again, here's another classic with a lot of legendary female actors, which I thought was pretty good. You know, it's a good movie. The Mercenaries. You know, so some of the actors you have in here, you have Brigitte Nielsen, Vivica A. Fox, and Zoe Bell, Christina Locken, and Cynthia Rufrock. And like you said, obviously, you know, these are all legendary actors and actresses. Okay. And then, from Dust to Dawn, the TV series, I have season one. Which I gotta say, folks, I got these for about the two series, about... Five ninety five. I thought that was a pretty good deal, comparatively what I seen on those selling for fifteen. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. 
Life After Flash, a documentary. Talk about Sam Jones as he played the character of Flash Gordon and all the stuff that went on with him. Hopefully soon I'll have a review of this and talk about it in the future. The Dark Man Trilogy, which I thought was a good bargain. I liked all the Dark Man movies, so I got this. And then the last one I have here is Logan's Run, the movie, starring Michael York and Farrah Fawcett. Very good classic movie. Obviously, it's different from the original covers. It's a little bit different. <laughs> and one of the other things I got was, I think about two weeks ago, I went to Walmart. I had to go get my medicine. As we all know, if... Walmart, Best Buy, and all these other big commercial things. Seems like they don't want to put out the movies like they used to. So, so the two movies I, when I finally did go to Walmart, I was able to. I got two movies. I got Willy's Wonderland with Nicolas Cage and the Mortician Collection from Shutter Originals. Now, I know this is where I would stop and tell you, but I'd like to do a quick review of one of the movies I finally got to watch, uh, Nicolas Cage's Willie's Wonderland. Now, my personal view of the review of this movie, I thought it was a pretty good movie. Uh, and then that character of Nicolas Cage he played was a very um, interesting character. I mean, like you said, this movie's got your typical, you know, tropes of horror movies, you know, you know the mysterious place. Uh, basically, the movie's about, when the beginning of the movie shows, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's a husband-wife team. They was like running around, the creatures are like setting up, they would set up the plot line to say, oh yeah, this is an evil place, you know. And then obviously cut to it, and here comes Nicolas Cage's character. Now, one thing I can say about Nicolas Cage in this entire movie was he had no speaking roles. He did not speak at all. He just quiet. He may have made some grunt noises other than that. He didn't have no script, no... In this movie, he basically had to depend on his expression of his face, his body language. It more or less told the story of him. But anyways, in the movie, Nicolas Cage, which... We have no idea what this guy's name is. Nicholas Cage is the character. He drives through the small town. Uh, he ends up hitting a set of road spikes and blows his tires out. He just gets out. Conve as he said, the usual tropes of most horror movies. Here comes a tow truck driver in a roll bag. Takes his car back to town. Comes up with some outrageous fees and prices to replace his tires. And obviously, like in the movie, Nicholas Cage doesn't have enough cash. They doesn't. They don't take credit cards. There's no ATM machines. It's basically setting up it, setting it all up where he's going to have to go to this place, Willie's Wonderland. So the tow truck driver says, "Hey, I can, I can tell you what we we'll do. We can work out a deal." He calls the guy, the owner of Willie's Wonderland. And the owner of Willie's Wonderland says, "Hey, if you work one night here cleaning the place up, I'll pay for." all of your car expense. I'll pay for your tires. So Mikko's Cage and sort of a sign kind of just kind of like mm, yeah okay and then we kind of knew what was going on obviously from the beginning of the movie. But as the movie progressed like I said it didn't it slowly built up the character of Nicholas Cage. Now like I said now we also are introduced to the other, you know, the teenagers of town, they know what's been going on. We kind of, as the movie progressed, we kind of get the plot line to what's going on with Willie's Wonderland. You know, as everything goes. But, you know, I don't want to give too much of it away, but this is, a, I would recommend watching it. If you are a fan of Nicolas Cage, and you want to add this to your Nicolas Cage collection, I would highly recommend it. If you like horror movies that, you know, they're just a little corny. But when you get in this movie, there is something interesting about 